Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on maxima minima for the functions of two variable. Here, we are going to assume f is a function of x and y. In some application problems on temperature, the questions may be given in terms of u. Whenever the problem comes, you just assume that u of x comma y is equal to f of x comma y will solve in a unified way. We just always take the function as f of x comma y. Now let us go into the procedure. To find maxima minima or people say it as extreme values, let us first assume the given function is f of x comma y and now step 1, we are going to find the derivatives. I am going to find the first derivative partially with respect to x that is my dou f by dou x. For my convenience, we are keeping the notation as fx and this is also easy for us to solve the problems. Next, we have to find similarly dou f by dou y that is my fy. Next, I have to find the second derivative dou square f by dou x square dou square f by dou x dou y dou square f by dou y square and we are going to assume this dou square f by dou x square as a and dou square f by dou y square as c and dou square f by dou x dou y as b. So, simply we are going to take a equal to f double x, b equal to f x y, c equal to f double y. In problem solving sessions, we are going to use only a as f double x, b as f x y and c as f y y. We are neglecting this notation. Step 2. To find the maximum minimum value, we need the points. I have to find the stationary points by making f x 0 and f y 0. Once you did this and you solve this equations, you will be getting some stationary points a comma b. Now from the stationary point, I have to find which is the maximum point or minimum point etc. For this, we are going for the step 3 and we are going to construct the table. Points. Points means nothing but my stationary points. And I am going to write a, c, b. People usually write a, b, c, but I am writing a, c, b. You can understand why. Because I am going to calculate AC minus B square. If I write ACB, it is easy for me to multiply this and square and subtract with this. That is the reason. And then conclusion. Now let us write the point A comma B. Now we are going to check only this A and AC minus B square. So now there is a chance that A is some value. It may be greater than 0 or it may be less than 0. So let us write the case one by one. If A less than 0 and I calculate AC minus B square greater than 0, then it is going to be the maximum point. So, a less than 0, ac minus b square greater than 0 will be getting the maximum point. The next one, suppose if a greater than 0 and ac minus b square greater than 0 will be considering the point as the minimum point. Sometimes, ac minus b square will be less than 0. When ac minus b square is less than 0, I don't want to worry about whether a is, a is greater than 0 or a is less than 0. When ac minus b square is less than 0, it is neither a maximum point nor a minimum point. So, it is called as a saddle point. And there is another case when ac minus b square is equal to 0. In this case also, I don't want to worry about whether a greater than 0 or a less than 0. When ac minus b square is equal to 0, then it is going to be no conclusion because we need further data to make the conclusion. So, we can say this as inconclusive. Hope you understand students. There are few non-max students also there in the group. So, for them I just give some uh, simple idea to remember. Okay, there is no mathematics here. Suppose you consider two persons are standing in a real line. Now, in which direction if they go, they will cover the maximum area. Obviously, the person 1 have to travel in this direction and person 2 has to travel in this direction. So, you will cover maximum area. So, you can remember a less than 0, a c minus b square greater than 0 will give max point. And similarly, we always believe uh, doing things in right hand is good. Always we go right side like all these things. So, if both are traveling in the right side, then I can say that a greater than 0, a c minus b square greater than 0. Then I can cover only the minimum area. I cannot cover maximum area. When AC minus B square is greater than 0, then only I can speak about maximum or minimum point. It's like passing in your exams. Suppose you failed in your exams, that is AC minus B square is less than 0, then you cannot speak about min, max, 
or any ranking if you are fail you are in sad mood okay so you think this has saddle point now ac minus b square equal to zero means it is like you don't write the exams when you don't write the exams you cannot claim whether you are pass or whether fail you cannot say anything so once you write the next exam then only you can able to tell your results so when ac minus b square is zero i cannot say any conclusion it is inconclusive this is purely for remember and student there is no mathematics behind it now once you find the points which are maxima or minima substitute the points in the function f of x comma y and then you can find the min value max value now let us go into few problems examine the function f of x comma y for its extreme values as i said let us assume the function as f of x comma y and we are going to find the derivatives this is partial differentiation so x cube differentiation is 3x square there is no x in the second term that is y cube it is 0 minus 12x differentiation is minus 12 minus 3y 0 and 20 also 0 since this is the first problem i am writing like this don't write all the zeros you can directly write 3x square minus 12 when you go for fy derivative of fy that is 3y square minus 3 with respect to y partially next we find f double x this f double x comes from fx differentiate fx partially with respect to x again will be getting f double x that is my a similarly now if you differentiate this fx partially with respect to y i'll be getting zero because there is no y term here next we have to find f double y if we differentiate fy partially with respect to y here we will be getting 6y i'm going to assume this f double x fxy fyy as abc so now the step one gets over we are going for the step two stationary points find the stationary points we assume fx0 fy0 now fx0 my fx is 3x square minus 12 and my fy is 3y square minus 3 from this when i equate to 0 i can find the points 3x square equal to 12 when we cancel 3 we'll be getting x square equal to 4 and very important you have to write x equal to plus or minus 2 if you write simply 2 you lose the minus 2 point similarly 3y square minus 3 equal to 0 then we find 3y square equal to 3 then y square equal to 1 y is equal to plus or minus 1 now we can see i have two points for x that is plus 2 minus 2 similarly i have two points for y that is 1 and minus 1 now i can have different combinations i can have the combination like 2 1 2 minus 1 similarly similarly minus 2 1 minus 2 minus 1 therefore i have four stationary points that is 2 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 1 and minus 2 minus 1 now i have to construct the table and i have to find which are all my maximum or minimum points step 3 we are going for the table as usual so it consists of six columns stationary points a c b and a c minus b square finally we have conclusion when you write this a c b write the corresponding variables also it is easy for us to solve the problem next we write all the given points now we have to substitute the values once the data is filled in the table now we have to fill the corresponding columns now x comma y are the points so when you go for a that is 6x 12 here 12 minus 12 and minus 12 when we come for c it is y so 6 minus 6 6 and minus 6 for the case of b it is already 0 so we'll take it directly 0 next we have to find ac minus b square so 12 6 or 72 minus 0 is going to be 72 here it is minus 72 minus 72 and plus 72 so whenever you write this first we have to check ac minus b square greater than 0 less than 0 less than 0 and greater than 0 whenever we see ac minus b square is less than 0 immediately we write it as saddle point and the second one is also and the third one is also saddle point okay next when we go for ac minus b square is greater than 0 then we have to check for a a is also greater than 0 so both are greater than 0 it is going to be my 
minimum point and when we go here the last point 72 that is greater than 0 but minus 12 i have in a it is less than 0 it is going to be my maximum point therefore 2 comma 1 is my minimum point and minus 2 comma minus 1 is my maximum point next we are going to substitute this maximum and minimum point in the f to find the maximum and minimum value you can see the typed version of the table so now take the question f of x comma y and we know the minimum point is 2 comma 1 substitute x equal to 2 and y equal to 1 to find the answer therefore my minimum value is going to be 2 similarly the maximum point is minus 2 comma minus 1 substitute the values in f and simplifying will be getting the maximum value is 38 therefore my minimum point is 2 comma 1 minimum value is 2 maximum point is minus 2 comma 1 and maximum value is 38 hope you understand how to find the maximum minima for a given function f of x comma y let us consider a practice problem for you the only change is the problem which i solved consists of minus 12x minus 3y here we have minus 3x and minus 12y so the stationary point will become 1 comma 2 1 comma minus 2 minus 1 comma 2 and minus 1 comma minus 2 and you will be getting the same max value 38 and the same min value 2 so i gave the answers try to practice this problem and check your answers thanks for watching subscribe our channel give a like if you like this problem share to your friends we'll see in the next video in the next video we are going to solve few more problems on maximum minima thank you students bye bye